It was like a game of chess, and West Kingston's defense system declared check on the Jamaican government. The decision ordering the Jamaica Constabulary Force and the Jamaica Defense Force troops to move into Tivoli Gardens was made long after an extradition request was put through by the United States government in September 2009. And so the state moved in to take back Tivoli from persons labeled as criminals and thugs while searching for Michael Christopher Koch, who is wanted by United States authorities to face gun and drug trafficking charges. The West Kingston strongman is also known as Dudas, Prezi, Shortman, and President. West Kingston residents, mostly women and children, marched through the downtown Kingston streets last week, declaring their support for a man they claim has supported them when they needed it. Some even said they would die for him. Today, May 27, 2010, the media were allowed in Tivoli Gardens, escorted by security personnel, to assess the damage and hear what the residents had to say about the security forces' operation to retake Tivoli. These are the voices of those who lived through the horror of watching people killed as security personnel worked on restoring order while seeking the elusive cope. I'm not upset with the, with, the, with, the, with the soldiers you see out here because they're told to do what they did. They're under orders to do what the f they did. Excuse my language, scratch that. It's not right. They're, they're leading you guys around all places where, guess what? You can't see no blood in no houses where people were killed. Tell them to take you to those houses. Where are those houses? Why is it that you guys have not seen that yet? Why don't you ask them that? It's wrong. People should not live like this. It's inhumane. You kill how many people and recover how many guns when guns is not what you came for. You came for an extradition order to extradite someone. And look how much people lost their lives. How many people? Look how many guns they recovered. Just how many people could have been fighting when you only recovered so many guns. It's not right. It's wrong. People are cramped up in this. I got two old uncles in here, one with one foot, and they all both of them is their sixties and they can't even walk nowhere. They can't even walk up and down. Old people needs what? Walking. Walking is good for your health. Health, health, health. This is not healthy for us. So much people dead, so much stress. Do you know that the world's number one killer is stress? You ask the world, ask them to ask us how we feel right now. The world's number one killer is stress. Not gunshot wound, not AIDS. Stress. That's what we're under right now. The way the security forces are dealing with the people inside here, I believe that the people are being restrained from their constitutional right, and that is not so. It should not be like that. The people in Tivoli Garden have been treated like hostage. We are not hostage. We are human beings like everybody else outside here. How do you categorize the garrison? What is the characteristic of garrison? Is it that the characteristic of the uptown neighborhood is different from the garrison? Oh no, I don't think so. I think that we are also of a right. Is it that the poor could find a way to come out of Tivoli Garden? They will. But guess what? To be poor is a crime. And I'm saying to the Prime Minister, that is his full time that you do something about this because the people down here, they need help and they need you to intervene. God bless you in Jesus' name.
Why are you upset with them? Why are you upset with them? Tell us. Bruce Colin are upset with them because you don't come help none of it. No Bruce Colin, no voting. We're done with politicians. Marcus Glavin dead, but in bird live on. Black people now can know themselves to them back against the wall. And we know ourselves now. No Bruce, Bruce go on. And when we're dead, we don't want you. Just make an appeal for some food. You have five minutes. Right now, right now, right now. I tell you, some belly butter, my drop out. My well need some food. You want some food. You want some food. When last have you eaten? From the day before yesterday. What is this year of the community? We let people know you know. Let me know. And think that really are sick as you hear. You just come here. Do you understand? Okay. All right. Cool. Me. When was the last time yesterday? Yesterday they bring two bags of food. And you have any anything else in town? Who got you the food? I can't talk to you. Bishop Blair. Bishop Blair? Can you describe to me what you've seen? I haven't seen anything because I've been locked inside for the whole time. So I don't see anything. Sorry. I'm going on a bubby. Get nothing from me yet. I'm afraid. I'm so scared. Can you describe what you've seen? Boy, I couldn't see nothing, nothing at all. I couldn't see. I couldn't see I just fear shooting, pin down in our house. It's fear shooting. We can't come out of our house. The best of this now, we can't come out of our house and see you people are coming. Put out your head and shoot. Mm. You have, the people you have, you have five kids to live for. Five. Them and I'm shooting up for me. 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 And the best of me right now, me I shake like leaf. Please do not take no picture of me, please. Then kill you. If you mention anyway, all yesterday, you couldn't touch no way. Go and shut a string from all boat. Is it yeah. your, your son? Yeah, my grandson. Word about his culture? Yeah. What, me I tell you? One month a shot, please. May I tell you? Thank you, sir. All right, uh, yeah. There is nobody down here that we are going to say that we are all innocent but the point is the people them what are dead in not for them dead in front of their mothers not for them dead in front of their girlfriend not for them dead in front of their children their sister their brother and you guys are coming in here that is all well i supposed to go to work i am a contractor cleaner clean carnation market them tile it i cannot go to work from tuesday I pay for my son to take CSC exam from last year, November, sir. And it's five subjects. And he cannot go to take one yesterday. He cannot take one today. Listen, the ombudsman come in here and they said that they're going to give us food. Some people only get two buns and a bottle of water. Oh, please, come on. We are human beings. Them kill two men in our house. Our things they mash up. Eh? We don't know. After them take we out, them tell us if we go in our house and then after us we are going to shut in our house. Them take out the bodies. So the men were there by them, so they left the men inside here and went back and they took care of them. Eh? So they left the men inside here, you were there with the men and they took care of them? No, after them tell us the state okay. of emergency, yeah. them put me in the house and then after them shoot them up and kill them in there. They're so they run in there. The house, okay. So it's a devastated, ugly. Everything mash up, everything in the mash up. Very ugly. Two, one in, in a my room, one in a his room. Were they armed? I don't know. Then don't see nothing. Because the state of emergency and them take we up. Put me in a different house. And then? And then after we are here, gunshot. Come, come, come. Alright, people. Are we surviving by the way? Huh? Are we surviving by the way? I don't know. The house is on that block there. We're trying to help. 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 We're trying